Hey everyone, how's it going? Like Butter here, and today I got some really awesome news for you. The wait for the Gears of War Ultimate Edition on PC is finally over. Uh, Windows 10 version of Gears of War Ultimate Edition just released this morning. I'm posting this video just after the embargo was lifted. And uh, I want to give you a first look and how to get this if you want to, you know, buy Gears of War Ultimate Edition on Windows 10. So first step is that you need Windows 10, okay? Um, if you have Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, for an entire year, you can upgrade to Windows 10. And if you don't like Windows 10, you can always upgrade back within like a two week period or something like that so I just upgraded to Windows 10 like two days ago when I received my key I just recently figured out what was wrong I was having a lot of issues with the game turns out that when I did upgrade to Windows 10 my drivers went out of date so make sure to check on your Nvidia drivers or AMD drivers whatever your graphics card is make sure that your drivers are up to date before trying to play this how to get the game is pretty simple uh, this is my Windows 10 setup it's it's actually really really convenient convenient and I'm starting to get used to it. It's a, it's a little bit different than Windows 7 uh, and, and Windows 8 and, and uh, all those other windows that it kind of, it, it's almost like the best of each kind of condensed into one. So I, I'm really starting to enjoy it here. Um, but first thing you want to do is just open up your, uh, use your start button to open up your menu here and just go to the store, the Windows 10 store. You can type in here in the search bar, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, it'll pop right up and you should be able to purchase it here. I think it's $30, but you get a bunch of characters, like all the DLC pretty much. And, uh, like skins i'm not sure which skins you get or which characters you get but uh we'll go through and we'll look at that in, here in a second so here it's gonna say buy or install i already have it installed so we're just gonna open it here and uh, i'm gonna you know go through the menu show you guys what's different and maybe we'll do a little bit of uh of gameplay so you guys can see what it looks like in really high quality you know this is 10 uh 1080p uh, unlimited frames it's not even capped at 60 FPS which is amazing um, and I'll show you the settings I changed I changed a few of the settings to make it run a little bit smoother depending on your specs don't forget before you buy the game make sure that your computer can run it uh, because the specs uh, you know the the requirements for this game are pretty pretty up there um, I have a pretty high-end PC and, uh, and, and and even my PC uh, can just barely run it on ultra so all right, we're gonna go in here. So menu is pretty much the same. You can see your rank restarts. It doesn't. There's no like cross-platform like a lot of people were speculating. Um, we're gonna go into uh, verses, and I don't think anyone's playing, or else I would have posted a video. But I've been up all night, like trying to get this figured out. I've been struggling with with a bunch of things, so I'm exhausted. So I'm just gonna give you guys a first look, and then I'll stream this a little bit later on uh, tonight. So let's go to uh, versus Xbox Live. We're gonna go to a private match. So you can see there are uh, different regions. There's only four regions. Unlike on the Xbox One, there's like something around six or seven that you can choose from. So only four regions, but the ping and latency is gonna be really good to those regions uh, because it's always a little bit better on PC. Let's go to a private match, and you know it doesn't matter which. You know, this is fine. Bolmar, sure. And we're going to load it up so I can show you guys the characters, the skins. Now, I'm not sure about the weapon skins because apparently they give you the gold skins just for playing in the first week. But I already have the gold skins unlocked along with the community skins that I've gotten. So I'm pretty sure that the weapon skins are tied to your Microsoft account. So if you bought the weapon skins on the Ultimate Edition on uh, Xbox, I believe they transfer over, over or they just give them to you. I'm not sure. But uh, just to go through the characters and stuff like that, you can see the characters that you have to unlock aren't unlocked yet, so you still have to unlock them through the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, just to go through the skins really fast, it looks like I'm talking in-game too, which is going to be pretty cringe for people, so I'll have to figure out how to turn that off. So yeah, like it's got the carried skin and, and the lit skin and, and all that good stuff, the bodied skins in there too. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at some of the characters and, and some of the things that you get. Um, when purchasing this it'll tell you in the details which characters you unlock which skins you get so let's switch teams here and I'll show you the locusts so it's gonna be fun going through and, and unlocking them again so one character that I don't see here which is kind of confusing me is I don't see golden hunter 
Now I have Golden Hunter on my main account, which means in theory I should have him here. Not sure why I don't. Maybe they changed up how the unlockables work. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to see. Um, but let's go into some campaigns so you guys can see uh, what the gameplay actually looks like in unlimited frames, 1080p. You know, no frame drops. It's going to be pretty damn awesome. So let's go to campaign, single player. Let's start a new one. All the, you know, all these are unlocked, so you don't have to beat it on hardcore before doing insane i think it was like that on the ultimate edition for the xbox one as well so uh we'll just play a small small portion of act one i already got like the first two cog tags the first time i tried doing this video but um you know with the i had a lot of graphical errors like uh i had um the game crashing constantly and i was getting pixelation but it's just because my drivers weren't updated so like i said make sure those drivers are up to date What are you doing here? Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. You could get in a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. We better go. What about the other prisoners? You can't just leave them here. They're gone. Hoffman pardoned everybody. Is that right? Welcome back to the army, soldier. Shit. Alright, here we go. So it looks pretty damn sexy if I do save myself. Now, this is unlimited frame, guy. Uh, unlimited frames, guys. I have um, V sync off, so it's as many frames as you possibly can get on your PC, you're going to be getting in this game. So, uh, no more 30 FPS like it was on the Xbox One. Definitely a cool little upgrade. prison blocks. I'm ready to kick some ass. Alright, we're going to go through the prison blocks. Let's do it. 6 4, this is Delta 2. We're en route. Over. So no screen tearing or anything like that. That was one of the problems with uh, uh Q to look. Okay. That was one of the problems with Gears of War, uh, the original Gears of War. On PC. So there's a cog tag there. We are inside the prison. Over. Roger that holding fire. Advise you relocate ASAP. Man, if command knew I was here to get you, I'd be in some deep shit. Come on, let's go. So let's head through here. Mouse five. Okay. There we are. We got the bodies. What the hell's been going on in this prison? Units are taking heavy fire. We have hostiles in all directions. Copy that. Call for reinforcements over. Marcus! King Raven, Delta, take cover! So I'm using mouse and keyboard. I'll probably use mouse and keyboard for the majority uh, of playing this. It, it gives me like a really cool feel, almost like a different feel from the Xbox version. But uh, I do have the Elite controller, so I'll probably be switching in between using a controller and keyboard and mouse. Let's grab this. Sweet. Wow, that hurts. Dude, Dom always goes down. I don't know what he's doing. Yo, Dom, you, you're killing me, man. Okay. You just revive himself? I'm pretty sure I didn't. I never understood this part. It says use your grenades, but I feel like using your grenades would be like 10 times harder. Like, how do you throw a grenade in that little ass window? There you go. Grab this. I think we're good. Let's grab some ammo. Alright, I'll give you some pistol gameplay. Oh, I think this is where they come through the door, right? Yeah. You can get like the cluster lock achievement here. Marcus, they're cutting through the door. Alright, we're they gonna come. throw it the second Take they come cover. through that door. We're gonna throw the grenade. And it's gonna land right right at their feet. So you can see the game is extremely, extremely get smooth. Ready. Here they come! Oh, that was anticlimactic. Did I just... Did I seriously... <laughs> okay. 
Did I seriously just throw? Oh, They're cutting through the door. Take cover. That was not good. Take cover. Oh my God, LB, you show noob, you die on normal. What you do that for? You know, I, I don't know, man. All right, I, I, I don't know. Get ready. Here they come. There we go. And Dom's down again. Yo, listen here, buddy. You need You're to stop to getting go. down every two seconds. Let's use the pistol. Uh, feels like there might be some like mouse acceleration on. Let's get out there. I don't know. Off the check. One. This is Delta Two. We are ready for extraction. Over. Copy that. Enemy units right there. Right there. Over. I see them. Moving in. So another cog tag right here, in case you don't have it. I think my sensitivity might be a little bit too high. Alright, so just to quickly show you guys before I end this video, just what my settings are looking like. Um, I may change these, but... Uh, I just want to show you guys some things that I changed uh, with the video settings. So 1920 by 1080, you usually want to have this to whatever the size of your monitor is. Um, I have full screen on because you get more frames in full screen. And if you play in windowed, you can only get 60 FPS, I think. I think uh, when you're in windowed mode, you, the uh, maximum hertz is 60. So I have this off so that it doesn't, you know go oscillate from like 60 to 40 ish it's going to be up in the 80 probably 90 even 100 range uh, brightness that's dependent on your monitor um the anti aliasing i always say that wrong um i usually turn this off in most games maybe you want to have it on i don't know i haven't put it on to see the difference but texture uh texture quality high uh, shadow quality on medium shadows really don't matter that much and they they can eat up your frame rate a lot so if you have a little bit of a uh, slower computer or out of date computer you might want to lower these quite a bit and motion blur turn that off because it, it just makes everything look blurry um so let me let me keep the uh let me keep the the anti aliasing on or whatever eh, i don't really tell a big difference to you guys Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited about Gears of War Ultimate Edition finally, finally coming to Windows 10, coming to the PC. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone.